Hello everyone, welcome to MedEd. This is your go to channel for anything related to medication. So we take time to discuss about the medication that impact our lives on a daily basis. Okay. So my name is Ngoya Nicholas and I'm a pharmacy practitioner. And I'm delighted and thankful that you've taken your time to watch this video. And just before I begin, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so. And also hit that notification bell so that uh, when I post such videos you'll be notified in time and uh, get uh, information regarding the videos that uh, you'll be watching, okay? And also please share it within your cycle so that it may reach uh, more people. So we have been talking about a class of medication by the name uh, non and inflammatory medication. I know we've talked about uh, uh, the non-selective class and now currently we are discussing about uh, uh, selective uh, non student inflammatory medication. So we have talked about also Celebrex and we are going to handle another type of medication in the same class, the selective uh, NSAIDs, okay? I'm talking about uh, a Tori Coxie, okay? Also uh, that comes in the brand name, with the brand name uh, Acoxia. So we'll delve into uh, what it is uh, uh, its side effects, its advantages, uh, how it is used, its mode of action, uh, the common pre precaution that you're supposed to uh, consider while using this medication and also we'll talk about uh, the, the class that uh, is not supposed to use uh, such a medication. So let's delve in. And just before I begin, allow me to raise this disclaimer. So the information on this channel is uh, purely for informational and educational purposes only. Okay. So ensure that before you, you make any decision regarding any medication you use, uh, you get a consultation from the uh, from a healthcare provider. Okay. So let's uh, delve in. Okay. Let's go straight into our main topic today. So today we are talking about uh, Tori Coxip. So what is it? Okay, Tori Coxip, commonly known by the brand name Coxia, is a non-stradal anti-inflammatory drug. Okay, it belongs to the selective COX-2 inhibitor class. It is used primarily to manage pain and inflammation, inflammation uh, normally associated with various conditions such as osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, uh, gouty arthritis, and uh, acute pain. Moreover, the mode of action of etoric exip, uh, as I've mentioned earlier, it uh, selectively inhibits the enzyme cyclooxygenase 2, or commonly known as COX-2. Uh, this enzyme is involved in the synthesis of prostaglandins, uh, which are uh, chemical messengers that play a key role in inflammation and pain. By selectively inhibiting COX-2, uh, Tori Cox it reduces the uh, it reduces the production of these prostaglandins, thereby alleviating pain and inflammation without significantly affecting Cox one, which protects the stomach lining and supports uh, platelet functions. So let's look at the advantages of uh, Tori Cox zip. Okay, so the main uh, advantages that I've listed have only listed three of them. So one of them is uh, that uh, it provides significant pain relief for conditions such as arthritis and acute pain episodes. It also, due to its selective inhibition of uh, cyclooxygenase 2, it has a lower risk of gastrointestinal complications compared to non-selective uh, NSAIDs. Etorcoxib has a long half-life, okay? This allows it to be a once daily dose which can improve patient's compliance. Uh, this means that its effects in the body, its pain relief effects in, body, in, in the body, when you, let's say, let's say that you take a tablet of uh, uh, coxia, uh, its effect will last longer. Hence, you can take it only once a day to manage your pain. And that's what I mean by uh, a long, a long half-life, okay? So let's look at side effects. Uh, for the side effects, I've listed the common side effects and the more serious side effects. So let's begin with the uh, common side effects. The common side effects that need no medical attention include headache. Uh, most of these uh, common side effects will just come and, and fade away. Uh, 
as you continue using this medication. So most of them, the first common side effects include the headache, uh, dizziness, hypertension, that's high blood pressure, edema, uh, okay, that's swelling, uh, gastrointestinal issue, though this is less common because of the selective nature of uh, etoricoxib. And another side effect is respiratory infections, and also you may experience some rashes. So for the serious uh, side effects, uh, which are less common, you may not get them. They mostly occur for those patients maybe who have a, a condition like heart diseases, kidney diseases, maybe liver function uh, issues, okay? So the most uh, serious side effects include uh, cardiovascular events such as heart attack, heart stroke, uh, kidney impairment, and liver function abnormalities. And remember, just as I've said, these more serious side effects, they may occur. If you have uh, heart uh, problems, please be precautious when you are taking Toracoxib, uh, okay? And also if you have kidney issues, just be cautious. And also if you have uh, liver function issues, uh, take precautions, okay? So because of that, I've listed some precautions that you are supposed to consider while taking uh, Toracoxib. So patients with a history of cardiovascular disease should use a tori coxib with a caution due to the increased risk of heart attack and stroke and also regular monitoring of, uh, of high blood pressure is recommended mostly if you are using a tori coxib while you have hypertension okay. so while safer than non-selective NSAID patients should still be cautious of gastrointestinal issues especially if they have a history of ulcers or bleeding so you should regularly monitor kidney and liver function, okay, especially in patients with the pre-existing conditions of liver and uh, kidney disease. Patients with allergic, uh, patients who have allergy, allergic reaction to sulfonamides or other insight should avoid heterocoxib. So those are the five precautions that I wanted to uh, mention about heterocoxib. And please, if you have any other question, just feel free uh, to engage me in the comment section about anything you want me to raise or what you want me to correct and any other information you wish that I relay, I relay, okay? So, other medications that work similarly and fall within the same category like uh, selective, uh, uh, those, those that are selective COX-2 inhibitors include Celecoxib, that we had discussed about the cele Celebrex we have rough, uh, rough uh, coxib, okay, that comes with the brand name Viox, but it was withdrawn from the market due to cardiovascular risks, okay. Another one is uh, Valde coxib, uh, Bextra, it was also withdrawn from the market due to cardio cardiovascular risks, okay. So common brands include a common brand of uh, tero, et 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 coxib, include a coxia, widely known brand. Algix, uh, Stuxib, and uh, Exinef. Okay, we also have uh, the brand called uh, Tori. So these brands may vary by country, and availability can of uh, can differ based on regional regulations and approvals. Etorcoxib, uh, commonly known as Etorcoxib, is a selective COX-2 inhibitor used for managing pain and inflammation with lower risk of gastrointer gastrointestinal side effects to, uh, compared to non-selective. Inside, like diclofenac. Uh, while effective, it requires ca caution due to potential cardiovascular risk and, and other side effects. Similar medications include the celecoxib and, and the, the, the withdrawn uh, rough uh, coxib and valdocoxib. So if you meet these medications that have been withdrawn from the market, please don't use them. Because if you take them, then you'll be at a risk of uh, fatality. So its global brand names vary with the coxib being the most uh, recognized. Thank you very much and I hope uh, this video has been informative and I encourage you to hit that notification bell and if you've not subscribed, please subscribe and please share it within, you, within your circle so that you may reach uh, more people. Uh, thank you very much and uh, you're welcome to make any suggestions on how you'd want me to record these videos and also run the channel. Uh, please feel free to comment on the comment section. I'll appreciate and I'll get back to you if need be.
stay safe and stay healthy thank you and bye bye